Hey guys, it's Sean Bob back with a new episode in our free to play series. Holy, I've been overwhelmed over the past week with the amount of maple I've been playing, averaging like 8 hours every day, even with full time work. So I've really started to get back into things, which is great for this series. I was burnt out for a few months before this and only played about an hour a day, just doing my daily bosses, so I feel much more productive in my progression now, although you won't see my current progression for a few weeks. There's a lot of live audio clips in this episode, so not much recorded talks from after editing the episode, but that's okay, I think I prefer having more live audio clips for editing purposes and also it provides a better insight to you guys as to how I'm thinking in the moment. Anyways, let's get on with the episode. So today is the day of 5, 10, 15 event, which means I can cash out some of these Sweetwater Monocles, Tattoos or Pendants, depending on which one's the most value. So to calculate which one is the most value, um, Sweetwater Monocles are currently 400 mil, and if we look, Sweetwater Tattoos are also 400 mil, so they're the same, it doesn't really matter. The important thing is that this costs 250 Commercy Coins to make, which means each coin is worth 1.6 mil if I decide to buy Sweetwater Tattoos from the shop. Uh, and monocles and sell it to the auction house whereas Sweetwater Pendants are currently 600 mil and Sweetwater Pendants require 400 um, Commercy Coins to make so if we divide 600 mil by 400 coins that's 1.5 mil per coin so just by doing like the quick math we can tell that the Sweetwater Tattoos and the monocles are probably going to be the most worth it for the Commercy Cash Out so I'm going to do that right now so here I have 2,256 Commercy Denaros, which means if I manage to actually sell all these with for mezzos, I should be able to get around, uh, oh, 3.6 bill mezzos if I actually manage to sell all the Sweetwater Tattoos and Monocles like this. So I'm going to try and do it now. So I'm going to buy both the Sweetwater Tattoo and Monocle because they're both worth the same in the auction house. And I don't want to just buy too much of the Sweetwater Tattoos and too much of the Sweetwater Monocles because Basically, I'm going to be creating competition within myself. Uh, whereas if I kind of diversify like this, where I just sell one of these each, uh, what will happen is that I'm going to be able to capture different markets and I won't be really competing against myself because these are different items. So yeah, that's the idea there. All right, so I had a red cube from a few days ago from Fairy Bros. So I'm going to use it because it's about to expire. So tear up, please. No tear up. Okay. Oh, that's all very quickly. Okay, so water monocle is done. So I'm going to buy another one and sell it in the auction house again. <laughs> the three nine 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 nine. Yep, nice. Just make sure that the prices are still the same. I don't want to be making a loss. Oh my gosh, this person undercutted me by. Oh, no, actually, I un... oh, actually, I'll have to relist this. Wait, what the? Why is this not epic? Hmm. Uh, okay, I don't have to actually compete against that guy because it's not epic, so it's not really worth competing against. Whereas, yeah, okay, so water, monocles and tattoos, still 400 mil, nice. So this will recoup all my losses from yesterday where I stupidly sold the black bean ring. Okay, sold another one. Oh my gosh, I feel like a daytime trader. Okay, so water monocles, okay, still 400 mil. So what I'm going to do, again, you know, guess it. <laughs> Time to buy another one. So so water, monocle. And so, you know, this is a value of doing stuff over long periods of time. Like, I didn't just randomly get this Commercy coins out of nothing, right? I've been doing Commercy consistently for the past few months, which is how I was able to get, like, 2.5k uh, Commercy coins. So, yeah, make sure to not neglect the importance of dailies. Hey, another one. Okay, so 3.6, not bad, not bad. This is what I call easy mezzos. <laughs> so, what am I call? Okay, check the market price again. 418 mil, oh. Okay, uh, I'll list it for 405 mil then. Just because I have so many of these, I need to sell. I want to sell them quickly. No luck with my Sweetwater tattoos. Okay, it's dropping a bit. Okay, so I'm going to undercut. <laughs> Just get this out before it drops even more. Because the losses aren't going to be very big. Okay, we're on a roll. Alright, I only have three more to get for this. How much are they? They're back to 400 mil, okay. Undercut by one mezzos, of course. Hmm, if I buy this three more times, I'll be left with six Commercy Denaros, but that's not going to be enough to go on a voyage, so I better do some of the daily um, Commercy runs right now. So, next time you'll see me, I'll have a bit more than 756 Denaros. Okay, another Sweetwater Monocle sold. I'm on 4.4 bill now. Okay, buy another one. Hey, Sweetwater Tattoos are dropping. <laughs> Nobody wants them. Okay, I'm going to just 
sell this for like really cheap then. All right, sold both. Nice, nice, nice. That puts me at five bill. Okay, I need to check prices again. So Sweetwater tattoos are currently 397 mil. Sweetwater monocles are currently 390 mil. Oh, it's just this one person trying to sell it quickly as well. Um, I feel like it's going to start dropping soon. I might just wait and see what happens first and then decide. Okay, prices went back up to 400 mil. Very good. So I'm going to buy some more of these. Sweetwater monocles. So I just need to sell this and then one more Sweetwater monocle and then I'm finally done. I've made enough mesos. Actually, I'm about to go out anyway, so I'm just going to buy this last one as well. Like, I would prefer selling one and then selling another, just in case prices do go down for this one. And, you know, Sweetwater tattoos might be better value, but um, since I'm going out, I won't be online. So hopefully these will sell when I come back. But yeah, made a lot of mezzos very quickly. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I actually got it. <laughs> That's the first solar gold thing I've seen in two months. Holy crap. Whew. There was a lot of concepts I talked about just then. Check out my Mezzo Guide video if you wanted to hear more about the specific concepts in supply and demand and merching. But here, I really abused the 5, 10, 15 event, which I knew would increase the demand and so the price of Sweetwater equips. And I sold the two Sweetwater monocles. Nice. So I'm on 5.9 bill. And also, I found something very interesting. Two arcane guns for 100 mil each. Cop. Cop. I could buy these for 150, but just looking at the market prices, it's just been hovering around 100 mil. So I think maybe I'll just buy it at 100 mil. <laughs> Look at this, it's so cheap right now. What the heck? <laughs> this is awesome. It's great for my Corsair noise so now i'm on one two three four five arcane guns which will be good spares for um booming when i try and go for the 22 stars on my corsair hey guys this is the first clip with my new mic Woohoo! so right now i'm using the rode nt1 mic and before i used the blue snowball ice so it's definitely a big upgrade for me and yeah i'm really excited to use my new mic f to create more content to show you guys and yeah, let's go on without any further ado. So I need to do this black bean ring, which is mezzo, which is a mezzo ring, but I really want to get item drop on it. So let's try and get some 15% item drop line on this. Okay, 15% mezzos, nope. Oh, okay, done. 15% item drop, nice. All right, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and tear this guy up to legendary. Please, new mic luck, please. That's unfortunate. Oh wells. And now on my Kana, the last equip that I need to get unique is the shoes. So let's, oh, actually, and the Wondroid. Wondroid and shoes. Hmm. I'll do the Wondroid then. Okay, I'll just get an Epic Potential Scroll. This is the reason why I do Ursus, guys. The free Epic Potential Scrolls. Well, like, not free, but you know what I mean, right? You passively get that as you do more Ursus runs. Come plus. Yes, nice. Probably two lines. Oh, three lines as well. Now let's chuck all these cubes here to make it unique. So 34 cubes. So hopefully I get a tear up within these. If not, it's not a big issue. But yeah, pretty excited. My Kana is getting close to being finished, which means I can fully focus on my Corsair's gears after this. To be honest, I'm not sure when I'm going to completely stop finding my Kana. I do want to get her at least to the point of killing the lower mid-tier weekly bosses like Princess No, Hard Magnus, and Chaos Vellum, which is going to require a bit more funding. I'm still thinking whether I want to push for normal Lotus and Damien. Oh my. Oh my. Not bad at all. <laughs> okay, at least I have something to work on. So I just need to do this very hard and then these boots and yeah. Um, I still haven't decided whether I'm going to upgrade these reinforced, like, pendant belts, um, and earring, this earring. Actually, no, not superior Golux pendant, because I have this dominated pendant, which is good enough for now. I don't really want to spend too much more on my Kana. But yeah. Okay, so I need to use this eternal flame, so I'll just chuck it on my dominated pendant like I usually do. 
Come on, give me something good. 4% all stat and 40 of strength and is Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Can't really do much with that. I sold another Dominator Pendant and that put me at 6.6 .6 bill. Just the usual Maple Tour reward. Next one still hasn't put anything to replace the piggy bank. I swear they said they were going to look into a suitable replacement. What's going on, Nexon? Every Sunday, I did all 7 Monster Park runs with a box we got from Conversation. The reason I did Sunday is because the Sunday boxes give EXP coupons and they don't expire, so you can stack all those boxes. That's going to save tons of Legion coins later on when I push for farming and will let me get the Mezzo's Legion buff. As you can see, I got so much EXP from the Choo Choo Monster Park runs. I've actually been doing this every day for the past month. It's a great source of EXP and doesn't require any EXP multipliers. The usual monthly reward point cash out. I haven't failed a single one on my Dominator Pendant, so I'm... Um, hmm. So let's try and see. Okay, protect. Right, protection on it. Which means... When I chuck... Where is it? Oh, it's here. Let's pass it, pass it. Pass. Ha! Ah, failed. Oh, that's okay. One failure. <laughs> I got the Forest of Tenacity unit damage skin from Fairy Bros. It actually looks really clean, so it's not too bad. The unit damage skin I'm looking forward to the most is a Keyboard Warrior one, but I'm not sure if that's something that's going to be released anytime soon. Fast forward another day, I did my weekly bosses again. I'm averaging about 3 weekly boss sessions per episode because I didn't really have much content back then, so please be understanding. <laughs> and that should put me to 6.8 Bill Mezzos now. Alright, so it's nearing the end of the event and I have so many coins. I have 11,181 coins from grinding 300 coins every single day for the whole event period. So I decided that it might be time to cash some of these out right now. So let's see what's in the event shops. I haven't actually seen too carefully what's there. Okay, we can get 100 Meister Cubes. Oh, okay. So that'll come in handy. Alright, so all these Meister Cubes I'm just going to use first. I'm going to keep the Master Cubes just in case I have something I need to get to Unique. But I'll just use the Meister Cubes. I'm trying to hope to tear this guy up, which I doubt will happen, but that's alright. If it doesn't happen, then it doesn't happen. This was actually the first time I looked at the event shop. <laughs> A few weeks from the end. Last one. Last. Lucky last. Oh. Wait. Oh. No. <laughs> no hype. Okay, so I'll just get all these Meister Cubes. There's quite a lot of them, actually. And hopefully I tear up, if not one, then two of those event rings to legendary. That's my hope. So I'm doing my synergy ring first because if I equip this, um, I'll have extra... Oh my gosh, 18% int. Whatever. But um, I'm trying to tear this guy up instead of my Cosmos ring first because um, there's like the world set effect thing coming from synergy rings. So if you have synergy ring on multiple characters, each synergy ring on each character is stronger. They give like 2 extra attack or something um, per character for up to 5 characters. Now that I look back, this event was actually insane. Neo only has 100 event ring mices shared in the world, while the Hotel Maple, this event, had 100 mices per character. Oh my gosh, 21% luck. That's not very lucky. <laughs> Rip. So that's um, that was like 30 cubes done. Next batch. Actually, I also need to figure out how many coins I need for everything else that I want to pick up from this store. So I'll probably um, look at that as well after this. I'll just do it after this one. Come on, tear up please. I do recommend calculating how much you need to buy out everything from the event shop before you spend your coins. That's smart. Oh my gosh, I've gotten like almost every single 21% variation. Just give me a tear up please, instead of the 21%. 21% death, oh my gosh. <laughs> Literally every single combination I've gotten 21% with. Eh, yeah, nothing. Okay, I want 10 Meister Cubes, so that's 1.5k that I'll need. I do want all 40 of these, oh my gosh. That's 8k that I need right here. Okay, so I'll just ignore this one for now. So I need 1.5k plus 2k, which is 3.5k, plus another 1.5, which is 5k, 5,750, 7,500. Oh, okay, so I'm actually slightly short. 
Uh, it's okay, because I'll be doing my dailies tomorrow as well. Okay, so I guess I need to stock up as much coins as I can on this Kana. And I can buy these account tradable stuff on like the last day of this event. So that's what I'll probably try and save up to do. Like I suspected, I had an epic synergy ring on my Corsair. So I'll be using all those master cubes I had on my Kana to try and tee this guy up to Unique. So here I have 20 master cubes and try and tee this guy to Unique. This is actually when my drop gear pays dividends. Investing a whole year into my drop gear let me get about 8 cubes a day with daily bosses from 2 characters. Skipping to the present, there's a double miracle time coming up in GMS and I thought about how I'm going to take advantage of that. I realised that my competitive edge is coming from this constant supply of cubes so I don't really need to use double miracle time for myself. I can instead take advantage of the higher demand in maple points to sell off all the maple points I have at a better meta rate. So I think it's important to identify what advantages you have over other people. Huh. No luck, no luck at all. I think I have five more cubes left, so let's just go back on my Kana. All right, I had a few more cubes on my Kana, so please tear this guy up to unique, come on. Really? Ayo. <laughs> okay, no luck with this guy, that's all right. I still have this Vengeful Ring that I need to get to Legendary, so let's try and do that. Okay, so buy heaps of these. Okay, so I'll just show how many cubes I'm buying. So basically my Kana was my ranking up character for the event, for the event shop. And my Corsair was just doing the daily coin cap like I was doing on my Kana. Let's do this. So come on, I need Legendary. Imagine I get nothing out of this event. <laughs> That'd be very depressing. Oh, thank you. Okay, give me a uh, mezzo obtained. Oh, item drop. Or if I can get two lines of item drop. In. Uh, if I get dex and item drop or just mezzo obtained, I'll keep that. Item drop, 6%. All side, I'll keep that. That's a keeper. Um, instead, oh wait, all of these are fine. Hmm, I do need an... Mezzo obtained. Ah, uh, I'll keep going. I need a Mezzo obtained ring as well. I don't really need drop rings anymore. Because I have my black bean ring for... Okay. Uh, okay, let me just try and go for 20% Mezzo obtained with 9% dex or something. 6% dex. Oh my gosh, 20% <laughs> drop. With that. Just because I have so many cubes as well. That I don't really need right now. Am I ever getting the Mezzo obtained line again? Uh, guess not. <laughs> Let's try for a bit more. Actually, I'll just recube later when I can get this guy to unique first, and then um, I'll have a lot of leftover cubes to chuck onto this. So I think that's a better play. Hmm. Let's see. Vengeful. Do I have a vengeful ring? Oh no, that's just what I teared up just then. I do have a cosmos ring, a silf ring. Uh. Do I really need another event ring as well? No, not really. Let's just check out what's in the other shops, actually. Trade oh, okay. So let, I can actually buy some of these. Um, Let's see. So I do want... Okay, so my Diligence is level 50. My Charm is level 43, Diligence. Uh, selective 8 coupons. Yep, that's going to be very useful. Okay, so ins... Oh. I'll let you guys see. So inside is level 43, and then when I apply one of these, it's gonna get to level 52, and 52 to 62, nice. And selective eight slot coupons. I'll probably expand my, hmm. Uh, I'll probably do my etc. and my equip tabs because I have so much more use tabs than those two. Might as well even it out a bit. Uh, I never go for setup because I don't care about chairs. <laughs> noise, noise, noise. I also do want to get like these other rings as well. Or maybe I might just buy some of these rings and figure out how to use them. I've never actually bought a Chaos ring in my life. So maybe I'll just buy that. Wait, 70 times 74 is around 5,000. And if I buy this, I will have enough to buy out the event ring my cubes, I'm pretty sure. So let's just buy this for science. So how does this work? 
Um, so you right click the ring to reset stat and potential. You can reset 10 times a week. Okay, so the best possible result is you need, oh, so you don't actually need to use, oh, really? Wait, so if I right click this, wow. Oh, oh, ooh. Oh, okay, so the, okay, so I think the smartest thing you can do is, wait, can you tear this guy down? If I use this guy on this guy and I reveal it, can I tear down? I pick. So I'm just trying to get to unique first. I don't really care about the stats right now. I'm just using, oh my gosh. Ooh, <laughs> never mind, you can. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, wait, let me search this up. What's the highest possible attack you can get on a Chaos Ring? Okay, max is plus or minus five attack and max is 35 uh, stats. Hmm. Okay, uh, oh, this is actually not too bad though. 33, um... 33 and 23. I'll keep it, I'll keep it. Oh, okay, guess I can get more event cubes. <laughs> oh, keep the content alive. Oh, so let's just buy heaps of these. It's a message from Nexon. They want me to keep the content alive and entertain you guys more. <laughs> Alright, so I want to just get Meza obtained and then I'll peace out. Okay. Okay, and then my aim is to try and get legendary with this ring. And if I can get this legendary... Holy crap, I'll be very happy. I was actually going to stop with the mices, but because Nexon blessed me with that tier up to unique, I used all 200 mices today. That's a lot of mice cubes used in one day. I'm looking to get 4 event rings with Meza drop and maybe like a superior goalless pendant for the last Meza line, as Meza caps at 100%. Do you know the best way to feel lucky in this game? Just think that you have no luck at all, and just expect the cubes to just not tear up, and eventually you'll, you won't be able to get disappointed. With the result because your standards are just so low from just expecting that there won't be any tear ups <laughs> i'm not going to tear up i'm not going to tear up you know uh, this game's garbage uh, like this cubing thing's probably rigged as well no tear ups no tear ups Hmm, it's actually not working. <laughs> I guess that plan is not actually working. Okay, let's change it up. Please tear up, please, please. Next one. Iron Jesus. Oh my gosh, 21% dex. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to roll this. Oh, I can't though. I need I need a tear up. I need a tear up. It's not even a I want to tear up. It's that I need the tear up. I have 22 more cubes. Oh crap. I'm almost done already. Please, please tear me up. So after I get all four event rings at Legendary, what am I going to do with my new event rings you might ask? I'm going to stop with event rings. Lol jokes, who do you think I am? I'm going to go for double prime lines on the spare event rings. So yeah, the sweatshop grind ain't stopping. Oh my gosh, I got another tear up. Ooh. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, the plan to not expect anything from Nexon really works. Okay, give me 20% Meza obtained. And will he get it? Ah, uh, that's alright. No. Nope. Oh my gosh, but I got the tear up. Oh, that feels so good. Oh my gosh. Actually, while I'm doing this, I just uh, might as well just get that. I just really want to get that out of the way. I'll just buy five of these. Oh, actually, I'll just buy like. Yeah, I'll buy five. Actually, I might just have bought one more. I'll just see if I get it or not. Round two, Sean Bob vs Chaos Ring. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Never mind. I'll work on this guy uh, probably like tomorrow or something after I get some more coins. But oh my gosh, gains. I got my 20% Meza obtained ring and I got another legendary ring. Alright, that's the end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed. This was a huge episode where I hit 7 bill mezzos and got 2 mezzo rings for my Corsair. That's 2 out of 5 done. Anyways, next episode, look forward to how I decide to spend the 7 bill mezzos. Hint, huge gains. Or maybe not. Stay tuned for that. But yeah, thank you all for watching and hope to see you guys in the next episode. Thanks!